The AW101 Merlin, previously known as the EH101 Merlin, stands as a versatile medium lift helicopter jointly developed by British and Italian entities. Since its inception in the 1980s, it has witnessed a notable surge in sales and an expanded operational footprint. Powered by a trio of turboshaft engines, this substantial helicopter platform caters to a diverse array of military and civilian needs. Its capabilities encompass various roles such as general passenger transport, maritime defense, anti-submarine warfare, ASW, airborne early warning, AEW, search and rescue, SAR, amphibious support, disaster relief, and medical evacuations. As of the latest count, more than 140 units of this model have been manufactured. In the late 1970s, amid the persistent tensions of the Cold War era, the specter of conflict loomed over European battlefields. The possibility of this conflict escalating into a full-scale war prompted preparations for the deployment of a multitude of military assets. For NATO, maintaining control over surrounding waters was crucial for regional stability. Ship-based rotary wing systems emerged as vital assets in this strategic landscape. Both the British and Italian navies sought a modern replacement for their aging American Sikorsky H-3C King platforms, which were produced domestically by Westland and Augusta, respectively. While the British had already initiated the development of the proposed Westland WG.34, no prototype had been constructed before a collaborative effort was initiated between Westland and Augusta to streamline production and develop a cost-effective solution. This led to the establishment of EH Industries, European Helicopter Industries, in London in 1980, forming a 50-50 partnership. Under this arrangement, each participating nation could procure the same helicopter model at cost, with minor variations tailored to meet their specific Navy requirements. To enhance its global competitiveness, the helicopter underwent further development to vie against the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk medium-lift helicopters, which had entered service in 1979. Designated as the AW101, formal agreements between Great Britain and Italy were secured in 1984, and a mock-up was unveiled at the Paris Air Show the following year. The inaugural flight of the first prototype, PP1, took place on October 9, 1987, confirming the viability of the large helicopter design. Subsequent prototypes, PP2 through PP9, were developed to meet specific program objectives. The British utilized the PP1 testbed, while the Italians progressed with their PP-2, achieving its first flight on November 26, 1987. Rolls-Royce Turbomica RTM 332 series turboshaft engines were chosen by the British, while the Italians opted for the General Electric CT7-6 series, locally produced under license by Alfa Romeo Avio and Fiat. Initially, a rear-loading ramp was a requirement solely for the Italian military, but it was later adopted by the British military as well. The PP-3 prototype, tailored for civilian applications, took its maiden flight on September 30, 1988. PP-4 and PP-5, both developed by Westland and achieving first flights on June 15, 1989, and October 24, 1989, respectively, with the latter successfully executing a shipborne landing in 1991. Augusta delivered the PP-6 prototype, which took its first flight on April 26, 1989, and also performed its maiden shipborne landing in 1991. The PP-8 prototype was attributed to Westland, while Augusta completed the PP-9 prototype. The joint helicopter project encountered smooth sailing until the conclusion of the Cold War in 1991, which prompted a global re-evaluation of military spending priorities. This shift led to a rethinking of procurement plans by frontline militaries and their political leaders, as the arms race era came to an end. The Canadian government, initially interested in the EH Industries product, withdrew its procurement plans in 1993 following a change in administration. This decision incurred significant financial penalties and led to the cancellation of the project. Subsequently, a new helicopter competition arose, culminating once again in the selection of the EH-101 in 1997. Despite this setback, Britain and Italy were compelled to persevere with their costly venture, ultimately completing development and securing production orders for their respective navies. These orders were officially placed in 1995, with deliveries commencing in 1997. In 2000, Augusta and Westland merged to form the Anglo-Italian entity Augusta Westland, prompting the update of all previous product designations still in production to the well-known AW designation. With this merger, the EH Industries product banner became obsolete and was subsequently discontinued. In June 2007, the EH-101 officially transitioned to being designated as the AW-101. 
The British came to refer to the helicopter as the Merlin. Great care was taken in designing the Merlin, resulting in a sleek and well-proportioned aircraft. The cockpit, situated at the front of the tubular fuselage, provides excellent visibility in all directions for both pilots, with entry facilitated by two hinged automobile-style doors per person. Cockpit controls are redundant yet manageable by a single pilot. Behind the cockpit lies the cabin area, featuring rounded rectangular windows and blister-type viewing ports for loading-slash-unloading assistance. The cargo hold, located towards the rear under the tapered empennage, seamlessly integrates with the cabin area. The power plants are housed in streamlined compartments atop the cabin-slash-cargo area, driving a tail rotor via a long shaft within the tail boom assembly. The tail boom incorporates low-set horizontal tail planes and a single vertical tail fin, tapered to allow access to the rear fuselage-powered cargo door. The five-bladed rotor mast, boasting distinctive BERP blade tips, achieves a diameter of 61 feet, while the engine nacelles protrude from the sides of the aircraft roof. The four-bladed tail rotor, offset to the port side, counteracts the torque spin of the main rotor assembly. Both main and tail rotors are foldable for shipboard storage. The fully retractable undercarriage comprises single-wheeled main landing gear legs retracting into side sponsons, and a twin-wheeled nose landing gear leg retracting under the cockpit floor. Merlin construction features Kevlar armor along the sides, underside, and cockpit framing, supplemented by aluminum-lithium alloy. The main rotor blades, crafted from composite materials, enhance overall efficiency and reduce noise. Beyond its standard crew of four, the Merlin accommodates 45 standing infantrymen, 24 seated infantry, if equipped with cabin seating, or 16 medical litters with associated medical crew for medevac operations. Alternatively, it can transport cargo pallets in the hold or via underslung function under the fuselage. The Merlin offers versatility in avionic suites tailored to operator specifications, encompassing both land-based and maritime configurations. These suites support navigation, communications, automated flight, and landing. The radar systems are also adaptable, ranging from surveillance and search to weather avoidance capabilities. A radar warning receiver, RWR, alerts the crew to incoming threats, including homing missiles. Additionally, an integrated direction infrared countermeasures suite automatically dispenses chaff and flare launchers for defense. Navigation is facilitated by GPS technology. Pilot visibility in low-light conditions is enhanced by night vision goggles, complemented by a modular turret system capable of accommodating forward-looking infrared, FLIR, technology. The Merlin series can operate without armament, but its standard defensive setup includes up to three 7.62mm general-purpose machine guns. One machine gun can be mounted on the powered loading ramp at the rear, allowing engagement of ground-based threats or providing cover fire for infantry operations. Pintle mounts on each side of the fuselage can accommodate additional machine guns for enhanced defense. In more offensive roles, wing stubs can be equipped with unguided rocket pods and machine gun pods. For maritime operations, some navies have equipped their Merlins with up to four homing torpedoes, anti-submarine depth charges, and anti-ship missiles, enabling effective defense against both surface and underwater threats. External fuel tanks can extend operational range, while the Merlin is also capable of in-flight refueling from a lead aircraft, enhancing its endurance on missions. The British Merlin is powered by three robust Rolls-Royce Turbomica RTM 322-01 series turboshaft engines, each capable of producing up to 2,312 shaft horsepower. This power plant configuration enables the aircraft to achieve a top speed of 192 miles per hour, an operational range of 863 miles, and a service ceiling of up to 15,000 feet. With a rate of climb listed at 2,000 feet per minute, the Merlin boasts impressive performance capabilities. Its general empty weight is recorded at 23,150 pounds, with a maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, of 31,200 pounds. Since its introduction, the Merlin series has gained widespread operational use, with several countries incorporating it into their fleets. Algeria, Canada, Denmark, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Portugal, and the United Kingdom all count themselves among the operators of this versatile helicopter. The Algerian Navy is poised to receive deliveries of the Merlin soon, while Canada designates its model as the CH-149 AW320 Cormorant. The Royal Danish Air Force employs Merlins with Escadrille 722, and India has ordered the AW101 for VIP transport within the IAF. Additionally, the Indonesian Air Force has placed a significant order for a dozen airframes. The Italian Navy assigns Merlins to its first and third flight groups, 
while Japan utilizes the AW101 for both military and civilian applications, including law enforcement. Portugal operates a squadron of Merlins under the Squadron 751 Puma designation. In the United Kingdom, the Royal Navy initially evaluated the Merlin through its 700M Naval Air Squadron from 2000 to 2008, subsequently deploying it across various squadrons including the 814, 820, 824, and 829 Naval Air Squadrons. The British Royal Air Force also operates the helicopter, with No. 28 and No. 78 squadrons based out of RAF Benson. All British, Portuguese, and Danish helicopters are known by the Merlin moniker, with the British standing as the largest operator of the type in terms of quantity. The Merlin family encompasses various designations that primarily reflect its specific roles within different military forces, rather than significant changes in design or operational scope. Production of the helicopter has been continuous since the 1990s, yielding notable variants such as the Royal Navy Merlin HM1, HM2, HC3, and HC3A. Additionally, two VH-71 Kestrels are being considered for use as U.S. presidential VIP transport, with Lockheed Martin serving as the primary contractor. Initially proposed as the CH-148 Petrel, the Canadian military platform was later rebranded as the CH-149 Cormorant after being dropped from procurement.